All right, let's go ahead and get started. Now, what we are going to be doing, we're going to be looking at factoring the sum or difference of two cubes. So rather than what we've been dealing with, which is generally x squared or something kind of limited to that, we actually factor larger numbers and things with higher exponents. And today we're focusing on what happens if we have like x cubed plus x something else that's cubed or uh, y cubed minus something else that's cubed. Uh, basically adding two perfect cubes or subtracting two perfect cubes. It can even be a higher power than that, but we'll, we'll start with those things. So let's start. I'm going to walk through one of these problems that's a little bit more advanced, and then we'll kind of break it down a little bit simpler from there. So let's start with that. Okay, so the first problem we're going to break down is this. Now, what we're going to do, and let me... Set it like that so that I can work a little bit better. Perfect. So what we're going to do is let's start by kind of talking about how we're going to transform this. What we're going to do is we're going to switch this into something cubed minus something cubed. Um, and we need to figure out what those things cubed are. Basically, what cubed makes 125d cubed? So let's break that down. What cubed makes 125? Well, what we can do is we could take a cube root of 125 and get 5. So probably the 125 part comes from 5. And the d cubed, well, it's d cubed. Probably d cubed. So 5d cubed would get the 125d cubed. So this stuff cubed gives all of this. Okay? And to get 8, well, 2 cubed gives eight. And the reason we care about this is we need an A and a B. We need something cubed to work here. So 5D is our A and two is our B, okay? Now, what we're gonna do, is we have a formula. The general formula says that A cubed minus B cubed equals A minus B times A squared plus AB plus B squared. And um, how I remember that is if you know the general idea of what goes where, um, then you can look at the signs and say, hey, minus, next one's going to be the same sign, so it's also going to be minus. Next one's going to be the opposite sign, so it's going to be plus. The last sign's always going to be a plus. So that, that's how I remember this stuff. Now, let's plug everything in. If we plug in 5D for A, what we'd have is we'd have 5D minus 2 is being plugged in for B, minus 2 for A minus B. Okay, next thing is A squared. What we're going to do is we're going to square 5D. So if we square 5, we get 25. And if we square D, we get D squared. The next thing is plus A times B. So what we're going to have is we're going to have 5D times 2. So 5D times 2 is 5 times 2 is 10, so we have 10D. The last thing is B squared. Well, 2 squared is 4. So that would be it. Now it might look like we could factor this stuff more, but we really can't. We can't break that down any further. So that's really what this, what we have. So that's, that's as simple as we can make it. So that's this fully factored, okay? Now, let me show you one that's maybe a little bit simpler and hopefully that breaks things down more if you're having some confusion. So I'm going to skip a few slides. I'm going to go to this problem. This problem's great is what we're doing is, again, we're trying to turn this into things cubed. So what cubed gives y cubed? Okay, well, let me write this a little bit better. What cubed gives y cubed? Well, y cubed. And what cubed gives 64? Well, 4 cubed. So really, we have y cubed minus 4 cubed. So y is our a and four is our b. And 
again, our formula is a cubed minus b cubed equals a minus b times a squared plus a times b plus b squared. So let's go ahead and plug this in. So what we'd have is our a first, a is y. Then our b, our b is 4. Then a squared, so our a is y, so y squared, plus a times b, so a times 4 is, or sorry, a times, a times b, so in our case, y times 4, which is 4y, and then b squared, so 4 squared, which is 16. And that's really it. You might hear a jingle ball. Let's see if the, the cat makes an appearance. Nope, he's just repeatedly hitting it against the wall that's right here. All right, let's go on then. Um, hopefully that makes some sense as far as how we got all these things. So again, just to kind of double clarify, this is coming from our a being y squared. This is coming from a times b, so 4 times y. This is coming from our b being 4 squared a. Look, there's a cat. Hey, cat. All right, let's get back to it. So let's try one more of these. Let's try this one. So again, we're saying, what cubed gives 64y cubed? Well, 4 cubed gives 64, and y cubed gives y cubed. And then what cubed gives 1? Well, 1. So 4y is our a, and 1 is our b. Okay? Now let's plug this into our formula. Our, our formula being a cubed plus b cubed equals a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. Okay, so let's plug this thing in. Our a is 4y, our b is 1, a squared, so we're going to take 4 and y, 4y is our a. We're going to square it. So 4 squared is 16. y squared is y squared. Next thing is minus a times b. So 4y times 1 is 4y plus b squared. In our case, 1 squared, which is 1. And we're done. That's it. All right. Let's do, let's do one more one more of these. Uh, let's find something that looks a little bit more common. Actually, I take that back. Uh, how am I doing in time? I'm doing all right. So I'd like to do actually two more. Because I want to do this problem just to show what happens if, say, it looks like we can't factor it. Well, it turns out what we can do is we can look for greatest common factors. That's really what we should have been doing for all the past problems, it's just the common factors on all these are one. So factoring out one doesn't really matter. For this thing, well, what goes into four, also 108? Well, four. What goes into, uh, hold on, what goes into x to the fourth and x? Well, x. So if we factor out four x, we'd have x cubed plus 27. Well, okay. all right. Say hi to the camera, Loki. All right, where are we? Okay. We will see how this works with cat on the desk. All right. Okay. So, as I was saying on this stuff, um, what we need to do is we need to now turn these things, because that's not our ARB yet. Okay, uh, 
What we need to do is now turn these things into the A and the B. We need to turn this into something cubed and something cubed. So what's being cubed to give X cubed? Well, X. What's being cubed to give 27? Well, three. So now we can take those things and say, hey, this is our A and this is our B. We have X is our A and three is our B. And we still have this four X just kind of chilling out in front. We'll deal with that in a second. So let's go back to our formula. Our formula is, whatever they're adding, is a cubed plus b cubed equals a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. Let's plug everything in. So a is x, b is three, so a squared would be x squared minus a times b, so x times three is three x, plus b squared, well, three squared is nine. The only thing that's missing is we also have this four x here. So we need to shove a four x in front, so let's do that. And we're done. That's it, that's our answer. So hopefully this is making some sense. Um, let me see if I can do one last thing. Uh, see if this still works. Cool. All right, I want to do one last problem because um, this problem in particular seems to be causing some issues. Zoom in a little bit. There you go, now you can see my zoom. So let me write that problem down. We have 27 x cubed minus 125. Again, we want to turn this into something cubed minus something cubed. Because something needs to make a part of this. Well, get 27, we'd have three cubed. To get x cubed, you would have x. To get 125, you would have five cubed. So this is our a and this is our b. Now our formula is a cubed minus b cubed equals a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. Let's plug everything in. What we'd have is we would have three x minus five, then we have a squared. Our a is 3x, so we're squaring both of those. So 3 squared is 9, x squared is x squared. Then we'd have plus a times b. So 3x times 5, that's going to be 15x. Plus b squared, 5 squared is 25. That would be our final answer. This was the most missed one on the day that we uh, went over this. So I just kind of wanted to double check that everyone was good on this, everyone understood this one. So hopefully that helps a little bit. This has been dealing with factoring sums and differences of cubes. If you have any questions, again, feel free to reach out. Thank you very much. Have a good one.